So I want you to imagine that you're at a restaurant and it's a restaurant that you've never been to and a lot of people have said really good things about it and you've been wanting to try it out. So you go to the restaurant, you order your food and when the waitress brings you your plate of food, you look at it and it is, on the plate there is some envelopes and postage stamps. Obviously you don't want to eat envelopes and postage stamps but believe it or not, um, the ingredient to make the glue of the envelopes and the postage stamps is the same ingredient used in junk food. It is called corn dextrin, which is a common thickener used in junk food. And believe it or not, you're actually eating that because sometimes when people look at the junk food and the ingredients, nobody really cares to really pay attention to it or sometimes they're just ignorant as to what's actually in the food. So some people ask why junk food is so cheap and why real food is so expensive. But really junk food is, is so cheap because there's so many chemicals in it that it's not good for you. It's high in fat, sodium, and cholesterol, and it's very access accessible to the public. So most grocery stores aren't open 24 hours, but most gas stations are, and they only sell junk food or food that is non-perishable. And real food is healthy, but it does cost a little bit more than junk food. Um, according to everydayhealth.com, 66% of the United States is either overweight or um, obese, and obviously the main reason to that is junk food, because people aren't watching what they eat, and compared to the rest of the world, the United States um, has more overweight or obese people, and according to the centers of disease control, 29 million people in the United States have type 2 diabetes. Um, if you sign this petition to put a tax on junk food, it would not only benefit the overall health of people, but it would encourage people to eat more healthier foods. And signing this petition to put a tax on junk food. The tax would go towards health reform in the United States, so the tax that is used on junk food would go towards hospitals or people with diseases. And some people, because of junk food being taxed, they would not want to purchase junk food just because it costs more. Um, but people who still love junk food, who are addicted to it, they'll still buy it and they don't mind paying the higher price and they're already going down the road of being unhealthy so by them paying the higher price to indulge in junk food they're eventually in the long run going to need health care and the tax would just help with that assistance and this is a chart of the people who are opposed to taxing junk food and people who favor taxing junk food more than half of the people who took this survey favored junk food being taxed and only 2% refused to tax. 37% opposed junk food being taxed, but some of it said somewhat opposed. So overall, junk food should be taxed because it is unhealthy and it causes overweight and obesity in the United States and it would just encourage people to eat healthier foods and also the tax on junk food would go towards health reform in the United States.